Can he put the cape on his back and become a hero here for these fans? 58-yard attempt for the win! Got it! Well, that was exciting. My name is Mr. Steve, and we are here to talk about some Super Bowl party ideas. Coming up this Sunday is Super Bowl 55, featuring the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and the Kansas City Chiefs. Who are you cheering for? Tom Brady and the Buccaneers, or Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs? Either way, some of these ideas will make your day a lot more fun. Let's start off with what you just saw, and let's make a field goal post and a catapult so we can practice kicking our field goals. In order to make that field goal activity, you're gonna need a few things. Popsicle sticks, rubber bands, Play-Doh, glue, and then something to catapult. Here's what you do first. You wanna make your catapult. So in order to make your catapult, you need to stack up four popsicle sticks. That's what I found to be the best number. When you stack the four popsicle sticks, take a rubber band and rubber band both sides so that they stay together. After you've done that, take two more popsicle sticks, put them together and only rubber band one side of them. Now take the open side of your popsicle sticks and squeeze in the four that you put together like that. Now they're gonna keep on moving back unless you put a rubber band to hold it in place. So there's your catapult. I would suggest putting on top a bottle cap. That makes it easier to hold whatever you put in there to catapult. And then we're gonna make our field goal posts. So we need four different popsicle sticks for that, and then the glue sticks. So just glue them together. Once you have your field goal post all set, you just need to grab a bunch of Play-Doh, kind of scrunch it up together, put it down, and stick that field goal post right in it so it stands up and now you're ready to do your catapulting there are different things you can catapult I like to use aluminum foil in a ball you could also use pom-poms you could use goldfish crackers use your imagination but have some fun another activity you could do instead of playing duck duck goose you could play a game called hut hut hike hut 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 There are lots of books about football and about the Super Bowl. I'm going to show you a couple. Here are two of my favorite books about football. For the younger crowd, we have Good Night Football by Michael Dahl. And then this is a what is book called What is the Super Bowl? In case you were wondering what the Super Bowl is, this is a great book for you to read. It has lots of trivia in it. For example, this is Super Bowl LV. Do you know why they have those two letters? Well, they're Roman numerals. The L stands for 50, and the V stands for 5. 50 plus 5 is 55. So this is the 55th Super Bowl. The first one was played in 1967. Do you know who played in that? The Kansas City Chiefs and the Green Bay Packers. You want to know who won? Check out this book. It has that and lots more information. Finally, one of the most important parts of football is holding on to the football. We don't like to see any fumbles. Fumbling is bad, so it's important to make sure you hold on to the football really tightly. I like to make sure that my friends can practice this. So what I like to do is I try to make them fumble all the time, no matter what they're holding. So they learn eventually to hold on to things tightly. I should warn you, it might not be a good idea to do that to your grown-ups or to your baby sister or brother. Anyhow, I hope you use some of these ideas to make this Super Bowl your best one yet. Enjoy the game. Bye.